What's up folks, Todd Tremonti here with another lightning round video for you. If you haven't checked out the other lightning round videos here on the channel, here's what we do. Producer Mason behind the video will pepper us with questions about one city somewhere in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and we will do our very best to answer a lot of questions really fast so that you can get to know a community pretty quick. Today's video is on Richardson. Richardson, Texas. And question number one, starting the clock in, here we go. Uh, talk about the schools in Richardson. What, what do people need to know about the schools in Richardson? I want to just be real clear that that first one wasn't a question. Talk about the schools. <laughs> but I said, what do people need to know? RISD is a really well regarded school district. And I would argue uh, that um, is, is a very well run, very large district in regard to the state of Texas. What do you want to add? Yeah, no, the school schools are older, but they've been well maintained. Um, we hire excellent teachers, um, and I know they have all the programs that you know, the fancy school districts have. So Richardson's really a strong school district. Yeah, there's a couple of unique things about Richardson that a lot of people that are moving to the area kind of want to figure out. There are some magnet programs and things like that, especially at Richardson High School. Mm -hmm. uh, Pierce has a couple of programs that are unique to Pierce, and then Bertner has a program or two that are unique to Bertner. And then Lake Highlands High School is the one Richardson Independent School District school that's not actually in the city of Richardson. It's in Lake Highlands, which is the city of Dallas, but is Richardson School District. So that's one clarification that often will mix people up a little bit when they're looking into the area. Richardson School District does border some city of Dallas areas. Uh, but for the most part, there's a similar look and feel across all of RISD as far as the community and housing and things like that. We could go on and on and on forever, but especially elementary schools, really well regarded, a good good sports programs, academically strong, and a very well regarded school district. Can I get a UTD shout out? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, University of Texas at Dallas is uh, in Richardson. Producer Mason is a graduate <laughs> of UTD. And uh, we've actually got some other videos on the channel on uh, higher education colleges, other educational resources in the area, but UTD is obviously University of Texas at Dallas mm -hmm. uh, and is a growing campus, beautiful uh, campus with some incredible new facilities yep. and uh, you know, always been held in high regard and is probably increasing in stature every day right. as not only an academic institution but as kind of a hub that's helping us draw in a lot of employment opportunities and corporate business and we could go on and on and on, but for the sake of a lightning round, yeah. we're going to go to the next question. Next question, why are the prices, if people know about Richardson, the prices of housing going up in Richardson compared to, to maybe some areas surrounding? Why, why is it a little bit more expensive to live in Richardson? I think a lot of it's location. Richardson's not an hour from downtown Dallas. You're close, you're like 13 miles from the center of downtown Dallas. So you can get down there to work, you can get to sports arenas, you can get down to Fair Park, the Cotton Bowl, all kinds of different places. It's not an hour from downtown. You ready for a fun lightning round fact? <laughs> Richardson, Texas is not technically a suburb oh. because it's existed almost as long as Dallas. It didn't grow up out of an extension of Dallas as a rail stop. It's been here the whole time. Richardson, old school Richardson folks are really, really proud of that. Yeah. But the point I'm making is it is literally the first city that is not Dallas outside of Dallas. So you head north out of Dallas, Texas, and the first place you're gonna land that isn't Dallas is Richardson. It's almost entirely in Dallas County. Some of it is Collin County, and that's the northern part. But that's the answer, in my opinion. It's location, school districts are excellent, it's a great place to live. Richardson's put a strong emphasis on parks, recreation, trails. There's an entire uh, campaign to tree the town over the last decade or so that's really created uh, a green environment, a great place to live. A really good balance of uh, indoor, outdoor, entertainment, retail, shopping, restaurants, food, and a great uh, family feel as far as most people are concerned. So Richardson is a very highly desirable place to live for those and other reasons. We brought David into this. Oh yeah. He grew up in Richardson, <laughs> right? And he did. is an amazing agent that That's works. Right. Also a legendary area. high school football player. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Hall of Famer. That's right. 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 Pierce uh, High School Hall of Fame. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What is maybe one of the biggest differences between old Richardson and the way Richardson is now? How has it changed over time? Well, I mean, the obvious answer is it's more diverse. I mean, uh, we have lots of different, 
you know, races and religions and all kinds of that is in Richardson. It's kind of a, a giant uh, melting pot of, of, of everyone. Yeah, I think that's true for the school district as well. And there's yeah. a lot of reasons, there's a lot of positive yeah. uh, feedback on that as well, how yeah. well it's managed. There's also a diversity of uh, income level, property style, retail. The east side of Richardson is typically a, a, a little bit more industrial, professional type of environment, but that's really turning over a little bit in the last 10, 12 years, where there's been a lot more residential development. There's some new retail development. There's, a, there's some massive employment uh, hubs that have been brought in, Blue Cross Blue Shield, big, huge tower over there. State Farm has a headquarters over there. So when you think about Richardson in regard to you know, why it's so highly regarded. And in, in light of that diversity, it's across all segments, right? There are million dollar homes in Richardson, and there are still some fairly affordable entry level 200 and something thousand dollar homes and uh, 100 and something thousand dollar condo townhome type opportunities. Um, so we, we could take that across a lot of different categories. But again, for the sake of the lightning round, right back to you. <laughs> What's the public transportation like? Ooh, this is a good one. Wow, well, you know, several years ago they put in the uh, DART rail system, which runs... What is uh, DART? DART stands, stands for Dallas Area Rapid Transit, DART. Um, sometimes more rapid than others. Sometimes more rapid than others. And, and it runs between here and downtown. It goes up through Plano, it goes out to Garland, um, some different cities. But uh, yeah, you can jump on the DART rail and... and and hit downtown in about 30 minutes because they're going to make five or six stops along the way. Mm -hmm. But they also have a busing system, also known as DART. Mm -hmm. The buses will actually pick you up all over the city and yep. take you to the DART rail stations. Yep. So. Also, uh, real quick tip, if you're interested, if you're very specifically looking at a move to Richardson, Richardson has an unbelievable unfair share mm -hmm. of DART. Uh, rapid yeah. transit opportunities. There are more dart rails per capita in Richardson than any other place in Dallas. <laughs> and that, that's a true statement. There's, a, there's some reason for that. Some of the early founders and really primary drivers of the growth of Richardson were on the dart board in the early days. Yeah. And so we just got an unfair share here in Richardson. We are in Richardson right now. Our office is in Richardson. Uh, dart station, mm -hmm. which has allowed for some mixed use development in and around those dart stations, which has brought us some really great restaurant, retail, apartment complexes, mixed use development, uh, and some unique opportunities to bring in what, to be honest, a lot of developers are looking for to bring in a, along with kind of the UTD angle and Collin College and some of those things, a younger, high skilled workforce that are at these colleges that stay in the community for jobs and go to restaurants and buy retail and buy homes. And so it's, it's, it's for, it, it, no one's perfect, but in a lot of ways, it's created this cycle of development and residential and family turnover. Now on the flip side of the coin, I'll answer a question you haven't asked yet. Historically, Richardson has been one of the oldest communities in North Texas based on average age, because nobody wants to leave. A lot of the people that were original homeowners in Richardson have stayed and are still here. And so, the, you know, the, the real growth of Richardson happened late 60s, early 70s, as Texas Instruments really developed a lot of the infrastructure for the area and uh, and expanded. So that was a, a more than you asked for, but I felt like would be good, valuable stuff. All right. Definitely. Uh, I guess we get at, people will probably want to know if UTD is so big, mm -hmm. right? Is it a college town feel? Right, UTD has, you'd be surprised, 25,000 students, yeah. upwards of that, and yeah. still growing, mm -hmm. which you would think in any kind of town, yeah. a 25,000 student college yeah. Yeah. would be a, a college right. town. Right? I, I, don't, I don't feel that way. I've been here a while, and I, you know, Richardson has 100,000 people. It's kind of our population. We float around there, and, you know, 25,000 are kind of in and out UTD students. You know, they most of them live up and around the campus, and so it's not <laughs> like, it's a college town. It, it's it's just not. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting campus in that it is academically fantastic. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they kind of go have a tagline they call the MIT of the South. It's highly highly regarded for biomedical sciences, motion capture laboratory. Yeah. A lot, I mean, they have, of course, they've got the full breadth of educational opportunities, but it's highly regarded in that in that sense. There is a very very high number of international students there. So you you've got some folks coming from another country really exclusively to get a great education. Not so much for a traditional party lifestyle, you know, people stacked into a rent house, you know, that kind of Southern college. 
right, right or wrong, depending on how you feel about that, there's no judgment of that, good or bad. Right. Simply to say, that's not necessarily the feel of that campus. Right. A lot of people are really happy about that right. in neighboring neighborhoods and right. things. Well, and there's no football team. Right, So, and, and that's the other thing I was going to add. Yeah. It, it's not a school that's necessarily a big sports school or a super competitive. Now, they have a chess team that's like renowned. Yeah. Uh, and they do have extracurricular yeah, athletics and, and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. But it's th that's not really the driving personality right. or even uh, you know recruitment element of the school. But it's a thriving institution. But no, Richardson in so many ways does not feel like a college town. That's not a bad thing at all. No. But it is sort of ironic in that it does have such a large uh, higher you know, institution of higher education. Right? Yeah. The last thing I would add is it. it it's known as a commuter school, right. right? So a lot of people are living outside of Richardson and yeah. commuting into UT Dallas. Yeah. Like that's well, a it's, very common it, thing. That, there's two huge populations there, right? People that live in and around Richardson that drive there. So they're not, they didn't come from Iowa for a traditional college experience. But there's also people who are coming from countries all over the earth to come here who also didn't necessarily come for the traditional college right. experience. So you've right. got kind of those two major uh, student populations that just don't make up for it. What, what a lot of people would call a stereotypical college right. experience. Although it's a great college experience, uh, Mason enjoyed his time as well as a lot of them. Uh, I have more questions. Okay. But, but wait, there's more. You're gonna tease it? We're gonna tease it. We're gonna have to go round two. <laughs> Part two coming soon. Hey folks, if you like this video, if you found it valuable, Give us a thumbs up or comment below and tell us what you want in part two of the video. What questions would you like us to answer? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? What did we miss? What would you like more clarification on? We would love to help you. If you have specific needs, we read every single comment. If we can help you there, we will. If we need to take it offline, we can do that too. Thumbs up if you liked it. That helps people know it's a good one. Share it with somebody you think it would be helpful for. Subscribe to the channel so you can see future videos and click that little bell and it'll automatically let you know when we make more videos about Richardson or other communities in and around the Metroplex, about moving here, moving from here, why you should, why you shouldn't, downtown areas, cost of living, and all sorts of other things relevant to living in or enjoying life in communities all over DFW. Appreciate you tuning in. We will see you on the next one.